Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. Let us dive into the Word. In today's Gospel, we witness Jesus healing another demoniac. And when the demon was driven out, the crowds were so amazed at what Jesus had done. But the Pharisees, on the other hand, they accused Jesus of driving out demons with the power of Satan. And, you know, these Pharisees, we see them appearing in the Bible numerous times. Yet they are always the same, driven by pride and ego. They could never believe the good works that Jesus was doing. But what we also witnessed in today's Gospel was the compassion that Jesus had for the crowds who have been living in spiritual darkness for such a long time. You know, it says in the Gospel that Jesus looked at them with compassion. He wasn't just looking around and scanning the area. He was looking at each one of them to the core of their souls. He could see the despair and the abandonment that they were going through. And seeing that, he said to his disciples, the harvest is plentiful but the workers are few. You know, dear brothers and sisters, if you notice, wherever Jesus travelled, he was always teaching, proclaiming and curing. And that is what we are called to do, to preach the gospel with our words and also our deeds, faith and action. And the only way that we can do this is by having compassion, which is seeing others through the eyes and heart of Jesus. You know, when we look at the world today, we see a world that is so, so broken. There are so many people still living in spiritual darkness and the numbers are increasing day by day. You know, people are broken. So many families are broken. People taking their own lives. You know, it was reported recently that Malaysia's suicide record for the first five months in 2021 alone was 468. 468 people took their lives this year alone. And this is where we come in. This is where we are called to be present, to look around us. You know, not like the Pharisees just glancing around, making sure everything just looks okay. But really look at the world with compassion to look at our neighbours with compassion, to look at our own family members with compassion, just like Jesus did. And yes, brothers and sisters, when we choose this road, sometimes we will get tired out, we will get overwhelmed. But Jesus too surely felt tired. You know, he was constantly on the move, uh, teaching and healing people. His every breath was at service of someone else in need. But he didn't let um, tiredness or even fatigue get the best of him. Every time he was tired, he rested and he prayed. And just like how the Pharisees and even his own people did not believe the works that Jesus did, we too will sometimes be contradicted by the world. But if we are attuned to the Holy Spirit and to the voice of God, we will learn to drown out the voice of the world and be focused on our mission, which is to build God's kingdom. So my dear friends, the harvest was abundant then as it is now. The church needs us to be compassionate. The world needs our compassion. And we don't even need to do big things. You know, as Mother Teresa often shared, we can do no great things, only small things with great love. And Mother Teresa was a person filled with compassion towards people, regardless of who they were. And we know the impact that she made in this world. And if one person can make such an impact on the world, imagine if all of us imitated people like Mother Teresa, even people like Jesus. So dear friends, let's ask ourselves this today. Are we ready to say, Here I am, Lord send me and be ready to be used by him today you know a lot of times we humans tend to have the diffusion of responsibility or what we call the someone else will do it mentality but what if that someone else is you so have a great day my dear brothers and sisters and god bless